Before we go though, can I say something, man? Go for it. Listen, man. Like my nigga Quan said, man, we made this barber shit cool. <laughs> You know, sure. man, we receive now all the good out of all the good stuff, man. We receive a lot of uh, hate, man. Slander, come you know with what it. I'm saying slander. So, I just want to uh, just you know just put that out there. You know what I'm saying? We the biggest, man. And you we know? ain't letting up easy. Best barber shop. You know what I'm saying? I had the pleasure to win best barber award. You know what I'm saying? But we got we got accolades. We got we got whatever we need. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to battle nobody. <laughs> we don't have to battle nobody, you know what I'm saying? We don't get into that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I just wanted to put that out there, man, because you know what I'm saying? We don't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? We, it'll come to us and we just brush it off. Yeah, I mean, you, know you don't got to say nothing. Yeah, I mean, all that yeah. show within the work, but... Hey, on, on the platform, on your platform yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, oh, pop yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, on, yeah, on your yeah. platform. You know, I just want to, I just want to go on a record for saying, man, we the biggest, man, and this, and it's just the beginning. Dreamers welcome podcast. Dreamers Welcome Podcast. We back in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I go by CEO Peso. Blessed and highly favored live from Moves Media. Hope y'all tuning in, man. Appreciate the support and the blessings from y'all. Got the gang in here, man. Some young entrepreneurs, man. I rock with them. I fuck with them, man. And uh, they only motherfucking thing, bro. Recently got Best Barbershop Award from the Gym City People Choice Awards. Congratulations, y'all, on that. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Y'all recently uh, had y'all one-year <laughs> anniversary. Was it back in November, I believe? Yep. Yeah, so congrats on that. Man, um, owners of Lux Barber Lounge. Yes, sir. On one, what, 1115 West 3rd Street, right across from Social Tap, putting that product placement out there. Please introduce yourself for the people. Uh, Quando Cuts, you know. Timmy Cuts, youngest, richest barber in the city, the biggest. He on that. <laughs> My nigga on wood shit. Nah, and nine three seven. Period, period, man. How y'all boys feeling, man? No, feeling good, man. I'm cool, man. Fresh, fresh out the workspace. Yeah, yeah, Long day. Yeah. Long day. Hey. What time y'all days be starting, man? Eight o'clock. Eight. Eight. Every day. Eight a.m. Every, every, every day. I noticed too. Uh, y'all cut on Sundays and Mondays. I cut on Monday. Yeah, I about to so say because I thought the norm. I try. I try. I yeah, try. the norm. I remember is shit. Sundays and Mondays yeah, was man. days off and shit. Yeah, and it's I on think, weekend for real. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. They, shit, changing the narrative of that shit. That's what's up. Shit, we young niggas, we gotta get to it. Period, man. Um, y'all mind saying y'all ages for the people so they can understand the dynamic of like y'all got your own shop, but yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. I'm uh, I'm 21. I've been uh, I'm coming about like what. It's been like six years. We seven years. Seven years. Yeah, I'm 21 years old. Graduated class 2020. I'm gonna start cutting my sophomore year. Period. Sophomore year high school. About you? Yeah, I'm 21. I kind of got the same story as bro. Been cutting seven years. Graduated 2020. Yeah, but I'm 21. Yeah. Shit, I got in this shit a little late, but I'm uh I'm about to be 23 next week. Uh, I start cutting like 2019. Word. Yeah. Okay. Man, so uh how did y'all meet? Man, Sound like a, a story. I got, I got a it's testimony a to this. Yeah, I got a testimony <laughs> to this because they both came in like like at the right time. Like I went to high school with Ant. But we really ain't talk like that in high school. So when we graduated, it was like we she locked crazy. right in. Then Quando, the city used to always try to put us against each other. You know, the young niggas right, come right. here. So the city always tried to put us against each other. And we seen each other face to face and was locked in from the first time. So so y'all had never met before. when they was trying to put y'all. Nah, we never met. <laughs> yeah, we, was a, a, a basketball we met at a game. basketball. Yeah, Word. Yeah, we we met met a basketball. So was it like, oh, this you? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really yeah, what it was. I'm like, damn, this that's Timmy. Yeah, like, man, that's yeah. Fine. I went up. I, I seen him from. Uh, we had we had the Trotwood game. I think it was probably Trotwood and Dunbar. Maybe I don't know what game it was. I don't know what it was. I seen him. I'm like, ah, oh, that's Timmy. I'm about to go say what's up to him. I'm like, ah, oh, mm. Quan, what's up with you, Timmy? And yeah, we was yeah. locked in there since then. Yeah. Locked in. And I um I was up at Kings on Gettysburg mm -hmm. uh, with another dude who was uh cutting up there, and we had just reached out to Timmy like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? You know what I'm yeah. Saying? We want you to come down here. And, and cut with us, and Timmy wasn't messing with it at first. Too. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Man. He was cool. Though. He had his own stuff going on. Ken's been but, there for a minute too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been up there for yeah, a shout minute. out Fat Cal. Oh, shout out Fat Cal. Yeah, free Fat Cal. Yeah, free, free Fat Cal. Free Fat Cal. Yeah. So we was up there for a little minute, and uh, you know what I'm saying. And I 
I texted him. He had came up there. He wasn't messing with it. Then he had came around. He was like, yeah, I'm going to come down here. And we was locked in there since. And we were like, sure, we need one more person to fill the piece in. And it was Ant. So how did, how did you imp- implement it in? Like, y'all reached out or how did that go? Shit, one day, <laughs> I was getting a cut from Timmy. He was like, bro, shit, you need to come up here with us, bro. I'm like, ah. Uh, I was like, know. hell nah, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, so what, what was this? What, what was the hesitation of like going up I there? Don't lie, it was like I ain't trying to put no bad name on, but it's like Gettysburg. You don't want to be in the middle of Gettysburg cutting. You feel me? So it's like <laughs> Gettysburg, the front yeah, line for yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah was, that's right by uh. Uh, GVC, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, know where it's at. Like everything over there. Yeah. Man, what what high schools y'all go to? Shit, I went to five different ones. <laughs> you bouncing around? I was bad as hell in high school, man. I went to uh, West Carrollton, Dunbar, Third Good, some alternative school, and then uh, what I say. West Carrollton and Western Hills up in the Natty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God damn. You got boxed out like that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, kicked his ass out the city. <laughs> went to the Natty with it. What about you? I went. To, I graduated from Charwood, class 2020. Yeah, I graduated 06. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that yeah, bitch, yeah, Rams. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah, at us. Know what, time it is. what about you, G? I graduated uh, from Charwood, too. Let's go. 19, <laughs> class 19. Shouts out to the Natty though, man. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah. 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 Getting into uh, cuts, uh, uh, the barber profession. What was some of the like things that y'all was doing before that became like a solidified like career for y'all? Like far as like was y'all sports involved or anything like that? Or what was it? I ain't gonna lie. Was, or just getting money? I was hooping, but <laughs> period. All that stopped though once I got to Trowood. Though you know how it is up there. Yeah, yeah. Once I got to Trowood, it was slow. So yeah, they Trowood recruiting my fuckers. They doing try. doing that shit for years. Man, fresh <laughs> year summer, I'm like, this ain't gonna work, bro. So it was, <laughs> it's like here, I ain't never worked a job or none of that. So it's kind of like this. Uh, this been all I know for real. You never had a gig, just straight cuts. Never had a job. Never did nothing else to make money but cut hair. That's shit. fucking clutch. I wish I had that story. <laughs> that, that, I was busting right. my ass, giving jobs until I start rolling with this shit for real. Yeah. Uh, you say you seven years in. That's, yeah, so you yeah you started back in high school, right? Yeah, yep. So you said I'm sophomore. Here, yep. Yeah. I was. I ain't gonna lie. I was just. I was just doing me for real. You know what I'm saying just doing whatever for real. I was just running with. Getting the next. Running with. Yeah, I was just. Doing what I was doing for real. Uh, I was trying to hoop it a little bit there now and again, but niggas was getting cut from basketball teams and shit. So I was like, fuck, I'll let them about the. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that once you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. And I was doing a little bit of everything for real. So it was, that's what it was. But I uh, I worked at Kings Island, though. You know what I'm saying for a little bit, you know, it sounded like you working there. You was like getting shit off, and yeah, <laughs> like you shit found out the ins and outs. Crazy because I had got kicked out of uh, I had like a week before I had got kicked out. They had banned me. I snuck into Kings Island, and they had caught me, and they had banned me from Kings Island. And about like a week, <laughs> two weeks later, they sent me a motherfucking interview, uh, like a like a she like yeah, you come down here and take your interview for get hired. And I'm like, is this a trick? wait? They tricking me? Hold on, you got banned, and two weeks later, you <laughs> two weeks later they sent me a, a, a damn. I applied a month before before I got banned. I had applied. Shit, somebody and they had accepted my request and said I got an interview to like. Three weeks after I got kicked out, man, I was I thought it was a setup. I went down there, they hired me. I don't know what a got setup would be at Kings Island. <laughs> like, yeah. like that's that's hey, a wild they setup. Police department. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah they, they do. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, not police department, security, but shit. Yeah, they Kings got, Island police. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these niggas in Kings Island. Island. No, I get jail. it though. Yeah, that's I ain't crazy. been in Kings Island so long. Though. I don't even know what they I added. Was in Kings Island jail, bro. <laughs> That's the wildest. I ain't never heard that. Kings Island Jail. <laughs> Only corn dogs. It's the funnest jail. <laughs> Only corn, dogs. corn dogs and shit, man. Corn dogs. <laughs> nah. nah, um, man, so yeah, it just sound like, I mean, like you said, y'all was hustling and like you said, you was busting the ass. So 
when um so y'all all end up being at um uh Ken's spot. Uh it was on Ken's Cam. with Fat Fat Cal. Fat Cal. Yeah, my bad. So yeah. when did the idea flourish of like y'all actually like coming together to just like man, let's just get our own shop? Or how did that even like come about? Chan the go. Chan the go. Shout out Chan. Shout out Chan, man. Chan, Pops, man. Chan, Chan like Chan like man, y'all, y'all, y'all just y'all y'all good where y'all at, but y'all just deserve, you know, y'all deserve better. Y'all, y'all need to take this shit to another level. Yeah, take it to another level. And Chan brings so much more value to us than just, you know, a a, a nice place to cut at. You know what I'm saying? Like he mm -hmm. he the boss us up in so many ways. So all I could do is say shout out to our big homie Chan. You know, I call him Pops. Blueprint for real. Shout out to yeah. him, man. Nah, he, when we did our pod, like man, he was very transparent on like yeah. how he was just his upbringing and yeah, he, yeah, he did the yeah. time in prison. Like, yeah. like it's all out there, so I ain't saying nothing. That ain't, yeah. ain't been said, but yeah. like that that nigga is a definition of like losing and getting back, mm -hmm. having it, losing and getting back. Like that nigga mm -hmm. was a real hustler. Shit, I'm glad y'all brought him up too, cause I wasn't about to bring him up, cause like I respect y'all as like your own entrepreneurs, yeah, and, like yeah, you know, like sure. how y'all. Established shit and got it going because yeah. having a year anniversary of that shit, we're gonna get into that as well or just the ups and downs with that. But um, yeah, like y'all establish our own name too. But yeah, yeah, Chan man, that yeah, that nigga yeah. got some knowledge. He was dropping knowledge on me. Like we was up here for like another thirty minutes after the shit. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Chan OG. At first he got... it was just like getting money. Like we was cutting, we was doing our thing, but it was like um, he turned it to more like a business for us. He, I feel like he showed y'all the longevity in it. Yeah. Uh, compared to like, cause I know I know a lot of motherfuckers now that still just rent booths and yeah. uh, they just yeah. became like a, a, a staple to the to the place. Exactly. Like uh, I, I'm, I go to him over there and he been over there yeah. 10, 15 years. That's mm -hmm. crazy because I had said uh, I made a statement. People weren't messing with it. I was like, we had made me and Barbara's cool. Cause like <laughs> yes, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Cause like at first I was saying like it was like we was cartoon characters, like we was like the teacher. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you go to school, you see the teacher. Mm -hmm. You don't see him outside teacher, of school. When, real. You think that. Oh, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You go yeah. home, it's like they keep seeing him at the grocery store. Like, hey, man. Mr. Yeah. Bell, what the fuck you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck you doing? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you picking up eggs for, my nigga? Like, hey, yo, get to the, get to the yeah, books, yeah, nigga. Yeah, right. Yo, man, what's tomorrow's Boy, assignment, my nigga? Feel me? So that's how I felt like it was, like, for the barbers. That was just like, shoot, that's our bar. That's the nigga we go to every, every two weeks. Yeah. And I feel like we made it like cool. Like we made it like a, like an end thing. You know what I'm saying? And put a little flavor on it. So I can respect that. And man, um, the first time I walked into y'all shop, bro, the layout gave me mm -hmm. big city vibes. Mm -hmm. It was definitely like, yeah. uh -huh. like just me moving out of town and seeing different shit. I walked in there and it was like, just, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Y'all got this. I think y'all got the light panel on the roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Nigga, I, I, bro, I was, cause I'm about to revamp the studio again. Mm -hmm. But I was like, why can I make this shit look crazy? And I thought about y'all shit. I ordered the lights. Yeah, yeah. the hexagon no, light. Shit. Chan the architect. I, I, I've been doing this. Chan the architect. I'm about to say yeah. that nigga interior designer. Chan nah, he killed the architect. I can't wait to see X on He got man. so many. He got so many hats that he wear, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. He'd be he'd be he'd be Taco <laughs> Street one minute. <laughs> He'll be EXO another minute. Then he'll be your mentor. <laughs> then he'll be your goddamn it, your pops. Yeah. Then he he'll be your grandpa. Yeah. Then, then he'll be your cousin. Then he a uh, <laughs> content creator, influencer. Like, he, like, like he, he yeah. wears so many hats. It's Crazy. ridiculous. I ain't gonna lie. Having him as an OG and my nigga kid. Shout out kid. Kid, uh, I'm kid, Trywood. Kid cut. That's man. my G. That's yep. he taught me everything I know, bro. Shout yeah. out that nigga. Him and Chan, bro. They a major part, you feel me? Besides my parents, they a major part on why I'm at where I'm at in life. Yeah. For sure. Man, so um also we, we y'all answer that. So Chan kinda gave y'all like the the interior design of like how y'all wanted the shop to look. Yeah. Like what, the word I'm looking for is like uh not urban, but modern. Very modern. modern yeah, that's yeah. the exact word. Like the, the black and white mm -hmm, mm -hmm. favorite favorite color black and gold so it just was like the modern look of it was like man this motherfucker like yeah. it's like fucking experience shit like, like you go in there and chill there, when you cut in there you don't even feel like you in the city for real <laughs> nah bro like even with the windows blinds closed you see a little bit of it when you walk in there it's a transformation of like shit some futuristic shit to be honest shit, you know I ain't like different blinds open cause the whole street like 
Third Street about to come up for real. Oh yeah, it's, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's, it's a cigar uh spot down there. Yeah. Got EXO with uh Rizzy running the um what is it called? Wind Down Wednesday up there. Then you got um I think it's a, a ice cream spot. It's a lot of stuff going on down there. That yeah. is, it's, it's a lot going down there. I like, I like what the Morgan, you know, Phil yeah. Morgan, he, he about to set up Bro, shop down there. Shout right out Juice and Jammers. Jammers. Shout out Juice and Jammers. Juice and Jammers, yeah. You got, uh-huh. Then we got the, you know what I'm saying, Taco Street and, and everybody over there at the uh, Then you know they chat. got the business like Zix and the Greater Dayton yeah. University. Yeah. So they got Historical all the businesses over there. That's and that's, that's just dope that's because you don't got to go over the bridge to yeah. the other side of town with Oregon and all yeah. that other to shit. See nice shit. You yeah, can, you know what I mean. Go right in the city, third. In your city see, and see. About to do something like um, make it to where you can carry drinks up and down the street, uh, Third Street and everything. So that's gonna be a vibe. Anyway. It makes sense, bro. It, it's really becoming a good hub, or just like mm-hmm. it ain't, it ain't too hood at all though. Yeah. It's just like. But on our culture, you know, what I mean? like, man, I be seeing, you know, other races yeah. and people over there too. Yeah, but but they're making it comfortable on that awesome. side of the city. Yeah, they got mm-hmm. They yeah. build lofts and shit over there. All that. Yeah, they got a lot. Yeah, they got. Yeah, it's a lot going over there. They got lofts over there now. So, so who, um, as far as with the location. How did y'all come about picking that spot over there though? Chan and Chan. Yeah. About Taco Street being right across the street. Yeah, he was already tied into where it was at. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So okay. He, he was tied yeah. in with the owners and shit. So. Cause you know I down there right down bar, you ain't it's slow. You can't really yeah, get none unless you, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mess with it's and only one so barbershop yeah. over there in that say. Well no, I, I mean know, the coldest and the coldest, but that's right yeah. mm-hmm. Shout out to Codis yeah, too, my uncle and Yeah, that's right at the that, yeah, right by Edwin Like that's up there, but still, yeah. Yeah. I fuck with a few people in the Codis. Um man, so from from y'all, you know, getting a location and you know coming up with the idea and everything like that, man. Explain some of the difficulties of like getting that motherfucker up and running, dealing with these niggas, huh? What? Dealing with these niggas is the hardest part of getting anything. Ex- explain we, that. Dealing with these <laughs> niggas, just I don't know, man. We just all young, bro. So so you know, we all got our own. We could be having our day still, you know what I'm saying? So kind of moving slower, yeah. you know what I mean? It might be like off everybody or look at us and just think we just three niggas that work with each other. Like, like now nah, I'm, I'm in these niggas' lives and they in my lives. So yeah, it's like when they having bad days, that shit rub off on me. When I'm for having real. a bad day, it rub okay. off on them. Okay. Like, so it's kind of like you know that. Like I don't want no young niggas to look at us and think this shit easy. Think like we came from, like we just can do this, like. Like this shit ain't easy, bro. This shit really when they when niggas say brick by brick, we the example of that for real. Nah, like, facts. Like shit brick by brick. Like, for real. So so to answer your question, the hardest part of getting a business going is the is is the inner circle. You know what I'm saying? Making mm-hmm. sure everything a hundred, yeah, yeah, within yeah. the inner circle. So, because instead of just moving by yourself, yeah. you're moving with yeah. three opinions, yeah. three ideas, yeah. three personalities. Yep. Yeah. So once you come up with an idea, the construction, everything, that's kind of easy. You know, you pay somebody to do their job. Mm-hmm. So once you come up with all that, it's kind of easy. But but like again, I'm gonna shout him out again. Chan make everything all that easy too. Jim, you know what I'm give y'all real mentor yeah, talk. Yeah, he kind of <laughs> come in like, you know what, y'all niggas tripping. This is how shit need to be. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. It's kind of like, you know what, sure. maybe Pop's right. Sometimes we don't take his advice. Sometimes we do. You know what I'm saying? But he always come in and Same give us right his then. opinion. You know what I'm saying? And let us know how he feel about things. Yeah. Rather we like it or not. Chan the type that to say something too. If it don't resonate at that moment, it'd be like yep. months later or something. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, some yeah, stuff yeah. we said on the pod. I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, Chan said that. Yeah, so that's solid though. So, yeah, so, yeah. so did it actually get like open, open it up and running like at the time frame y'all wanted it, or it was like some drawbacks with that too? Yeah. It opened quicker than we thought. Yeah, okay. it, yeah. quick. It opened we, quicker than we, we thought. Uh, left where we was at, and probably we cut up the career for what? probably like a month, not even what? Two no weeks. two week notice. Like I'm up here. I, 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 it was something like that, yeah. but that's a whole nother, you yeah. know. But it was something like that. But it was like you know we had cut at the yeah. crib for about like a month and a half. Yeah, you know what I'm saying just in the, in the meantime, between time, you know what I'm saying while the shop was getting getting you know built. What I'm saying, and we was like, shoot, quicker than we know. We looked up and he was like, hey, I can start cutting. So yeah, man, what was that? What was that? First idea of feeling walking in, everything laid out. 
Same feeling we all get. We like, damn, we about to work in here. Like, uh, so yeah. we was there. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We was there every day. So it was like, we seen it coming. So we was. I'm talking about open for business. Like, like for business. It was like, like unbelievable, this, bro. Shit, like, crazy. damn, I don't even feel like I'm in dating right nah. now, bro. Like, nah. Game time. Yeah, yeah. I, I was more excited though for our customers more than I was excited for me. It's like, man, people, our loyals, our loyals that was sweating in the chair with us. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was just there through everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nigga. You know, if I got something going on, I just had a daughter, so I mm. might be running late. You know what I'm saying? So the people who that that just stayed down with us and everything through everything that we go through, people that was coming to the crib to get cut, stuff like that. It was. I was more excited for them. Like, damn, this is an experience. Not only for me, but for people who've been down with me and, you know, new customers to come. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it was just the experience thing from, like, the experience thing was second to none, for real. I mean, bro, it's shit, man. Once you locked in with a barber, man, mm-hmm. you, you got to go through thick and thin with him. Like, hey, bro, because trying to find, I done got fucked up plenty of times. Man. That's why I started growing my hair out and doing all this type of shit. And it's just like, bro, I can't do this shit, bro. It's hard to just find somebody. Man, my barber would be on some crazy shit, man. Yeah. That's why I hit you up. I'm like, hey, bro, yeah. I'm fishing around. <laughs> it's like this shit getting wild. Yeah, it be like that sometimes. Man, um, man. so uh, like I said, November 9th, 2023 was the one-year anniversary. Mm-hmm. From that year span, any self-doubt, any like, man, I don't know like, if I could keep Absolutely. keeping up with this. Absolutely. Explain Absolutely. that a little bit and just like kind of fighting through that shit. I mean, shit. Like you said, we we bump heads, but at the end of the day, we brothers, so we keep each other sharp. Like if we lacking, we look at each other and we like, damn, we can't can't fall. So. Hold each other accountable. Yeah, yeah. So. Cause I know, like I said, just running the business, man. Like that shit, nigga. Y'all niggas doing taxes and all this other shit, and you know, promotions and shit like that. So, so right. yeah. So far as like. We y'all getting new customers, is it just like a more word of mouth thing? Or y'all still be kind of like, you know, just not saying more so hitting the streets, but just still putting y'all own due diligence in on get, trying to get new. I mean, social media and word of mouth for real. Right. I mean, you know, the city's so small, so once you pop in, everybody going to know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, you know, when when something new open up, it motherfuckers, it talk around town, go around quick. Yeah, that's fuck it up. Quick. Yeah, but like I said, that that one year, that that's a milestone. Like a lot of motherfuckers, appreciate can't that, do that. Man. Yeah, appreciate that, man. um, appreciate that. I noticed too. Uh, I don't know, man. Y'all have in there, but I, th- I seen a female in there. She was doing like somebody's dreads. So how, like, was that was that intentional too to just have like a, like the female aspect who can come in there and, and do th- like? Can she cut too? Yeah, no. Nope. So she just do just. Yeah, there's three of them. It's, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's three. Okay, I seen one one time. Yeah, it's three of them. We got uh, shout out Kiki, Naya, and Tanisha. Yeah. So how do y'all go about even um finding people to like place in to uh, social media? Yeah, social media. Social media, and it 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 come it get a little deeper than that too. Yeah, like, like, like you got to mix with all of us too. Like yeah, about the chemistry in there. I mean, yeah, the shop yeah, is because like, we a family for real. So it's like. Uh, it might be a day we talking about some other shit in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like if you ain't the right person. <laughs> I mean, it, it, anything yeah. go in the barbershop, bro. Anything, anything goes in yeah. the barbershop. <laughs> some people don't understand If you that, do though. something crazy in the city, this bar, if the barbershop will know about, about it. I'm going to have my opinion. So, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like we got clients that look forward to coming in here in our pain. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, if you don't mix with that type of energy, you know what I'm saying? If you kind of like, like I ain't gonna lie, can't just nobody just you, like they said. It's just it's deeper than just yeah, no introverted, no yeah. That's crazy though because one more unless a motherfucker just is like that and still be on some cool shit. You definitely gotta be able yeah. to. Mesh with yeah. the chemistry in there, exactly. Because you there all day. I mean, you never know what might come. To, some might come to my head. I might say I like cheese pizza. You might say Nah, nigga, pepperoni bro. fire. An we hour long, that yeah, an hour. <laughs> hour, two hour yeah. type shit for an hour, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, trying yeah. to convince me that pepperoni is better than cheese pizza, and we just doing that for an hour. We might get sw- start sweating and then I want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> other motherfuckers chiming in, yeah, taking yeah, sides and shit. Like, nah, he's better, like yeah. man. But it's, I'm yeah. telling you, so it's, I just took two hours on a nigga head today, man. Just because these two niggas. Oh, just got shit. shit. He yeah. he definitely had nothing to do. Yeah, nothing to do. <laughs> man, um, 
So far as um like this the thing characteristics about being owners and everything, you get you gotta have these uncomfortable situations or conversations or firing motherfuckers. So as that came to a point of like you had to like tell motherfuckers like bro y'all gotta no because I er- ain't gonna lie everybody with us they on boss yeah so like with us it's like coming into this you already family so we know you ain't gonna fuck us over to the point to where it's like you gotta go yeah. you know what I'm saying we ain't ran into that so but how do y'all like do y'all collectively like is it interview status like I don't know you say social media you see they can cut. Everybody in their family, so it's kind of like so. You, so you just down, put them in down. there, and if they mesh, yeah, then, like they literally family though. Yeah, they literally, like they literally fam- family. Yeah, like Kiki, my blood cousin. Oh, like literally, like yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I, when you say cousin, family, I'm thinking yeah. like, like yeah. Nah, then, nah, nah. Then Naya, she's so. I've been knowing in. Naya for a long time, yeah. so it's like yeah. went to trial with her, Yeah, so yeah. Naya, Naya kind of just was already locked in from the jump, so it was. It's the decisions are easy. Like you don't never. We just say, oh, such and such. Let, let's get them in here. Mm-hmm. And it's like bet, bet, bet. Really, right. just happen for real. Like, yeah, that's how you know yeah. it be. It don't be forced. Yeah, yeah. So everybody with us, like I said, everybody with us, they on boss. Like, like I ain't gonna lie. The same thing with with, with Chan. Like you know what I'm saying. He mm-hmm. Chan like a, a like a he like a I don't know what he is. Uh, like he like an investor dash dad dash. You know what I'm saying. Mentor, like like I mean. everything. So it's like. But everybody they own boss at the end of the day. We all make our own schedule. It ain't no set hours, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. everybody, if you don't come in and do your as long as your portion of everything is cool, then you good. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that would be the only time where it'd be the problem if it's like, oh man, you ain't doing your part. Right. Now it's like, but that's between us, that's within us. So mm-hmm. yeah. ain't no firing us. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. So like, I, I, yeah. The girls, they they on point with everything. So Dope, dope. Yeah, so they shout out to them again. Go we'll get your dreads and everything done by them. Okay. Period. I ain't gonna lie, they be keeping us on points. <laughs> man, it was it was so funny, man. I seen uh I came in there and topped it up with y'all. And uh no, nah, I, I ain't talking about dude, but homie was sleep in the chair getting his dreads done. <laughs> and I was like, yo, by any means, <laughs> like shit, he was over there snoozing. Shit, that's man. how comfortable it'd be in there though. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a whole vibe in there. You might walk okay. on there and see all three of us lining a nigga up. No cap. Just uh, on a random Tuesday, just because yeah. I'm bored. <laughs> Bar- yeah, fuck <laughs> all three of us on one. Kiki, you do the back dread. Kwanda, you do the line up. Timmy Tabor, this uh, <laughs> the <laughs> quickest, quickest fresh up ever. Yeah, 20 <laughs> minutes. This little nigga out the Get up through. Yeah, no cap. Shit on went viral. <laughs> Let's explain the, um, the ownership of the AU. Look, how that oh, come yeah, about? Yeah. And- so that's basically, you know, us three, we, we basically own the AU program. You know what I'm saying? We sponsor and run it. You know what I'm saying? So, kids with us. So, this year, we did a little different. You know, we offering two scholarships per team. You know oh. what I'm saying? We normally do three teams. This year, we're going to rock out with, with 15 U. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's kind of like just so our way of giving back for real. You know what I'm saying? Besides, you know, cutting hair and city gear and stuff like that, you know, that's other ways we give Give back. Give backs, you know? yeah. Our major give back is, you know, to the kids for real in the, in the inner city. We we give them a chance to be put on a, on a stage, stage where yeah. a lot of them don't have the opportunities. You know what I'm saying? A lot of big AAU programs ain't coming down here to get inner city kids. And mm-hmm. if they True. are, they come to grab one or two. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying the red, the other 600 kids gotta have, got, you know they gotta have have an outlet. Mm-hmm. So we basically try to be that outlet for them. So you know what I'm saying, we 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 we've been doing this for three years now together. I've been doing it. This is my fourth year doing it. So oh, owning like yeah 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 yeah. So this is before the shop even. Yeah yeah, this is yeah, before the shop. Yeah, I was I started this when I was 18 years old. Yeah man. yeah yeah yeah. I started this when I had three teams. Start off with three teams. Then they came on as mega investors, so so they my chance in my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, they came in as mega investors and changing everything. So they, you know what I'm saying? We just we've been elevating ever since. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud to say we we beat all the top teams in the uh, area. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that's a compliment as well. Yeah, God damn it, for sure. Yeah, Small yeah, victories yeah. still matter too. Yeah, but that's yeah, a big victory, so. girl. But just. Yeah, so, seeing that yeah. shit flourish though. Yeah, that's yeah. what we do. So besides looks, you know what I'm saying? We we got that going on too as as far as giving back to the kids and being an outlet, you know what I'm saying? They don't get no better than playing with us, you know what I'm saying? We uh-uh. 
we going we going to the big tournaments you know what i'm saying yeah and on top of that we gonna have fun because we young too yeah. big sponsor shit. yeah yeah you know how it is man i find it very very interesting that y'all entrepreneurship levels at such a young age is is, is at is there y'all got so much further to go with how y'all handle business because I mean, I guess when I was 18, too, I mean, I wasn't thinking that. Like, I, I was engineering. I was trying to open the studio. Yeah. But I, fuck it, just out the garage with it, whatever, though. But, um, like, even before, like, when did y'all meet Chan? I met Chan when I was 19 years old. Okay. So, where did the business expertise really come from? Like, even 18, thinking about the AAU situation, shit like that, like, like, where would y'all say 18 year olds ain't thinking the way y'all be thinking sometimes, even 21 year olds at this point? Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it came from starting, I think it came from really starting to bar, like cutting hair for mm -hmm. real. Like, cause you know, that's his own business in itself. Mm -hmm. So, like, just not want to work, quitting, not working a job and trying to get some money. Mm -hmm. That's where it came from. It's like, well, if I can, you know what I'm saying, make my own. Money and I be my own boss. I mean, mm -hmm. I be my own boss and I have no boss and I can just, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, just want to be different. Just want to be different for real. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody, everybody like to do the same thing. So just doing something different. You know, as far as cutting hair, when we got into it, it wasn't popular to do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> what was popular though? What rapping? Right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the typical everything that's popular. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like your age, like, like shit that was popular then, but shit that wasn't popular. Like, cutting hair really wasn't popular when you was growing up. It wasn't like. Nah, you know, I wasn't. Barber, nah, bro. not that's at all. That's the last thing coming to your head. That was the last we got, thing. I got, we got people hitting us up daily, like, wanting to quit their jobs to learn from us how to cut hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this, the, 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 the barber game that took over so much. Yep. And then, as far as the AAU side, just want to be different. I knew nobody eighteen was giving back to the community, and yeah, was, I know I and, wasn't. And, and it was a need for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a need for it. So it's like if it's an opportunity, you know, where you can bring value, it's like why not? You know what I'm saying? And then when I meet two people like these dudes, it's like, bro, we might as well keep going, especially when they down with it. So mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like leave a legacy in the city yep. for real. Nah, I'm dead ass though. Like it's a long team, it's over. Yeah, so. it's some longevity in what y'all doing too, for sure. Like I see that just when I first met y'all, like Chan spoke so highly on y'all. Yeah, it's like man, my young niggas out here, Benzes and like, it just was like, yeah. like bro, who better to get get that that info from? And I like like I said, I did my research on y'all from what just what I seen on social media and everything, mm -hmm. and uh, I I didn't really see like. That I don't, I see that that's not nothing that's like I ain't gonna say that's bragged about or y'all giving back to the community, but it's very like I don't think num not to be pe not to be people would know yeah. unless y'all actually tell them though. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I think that's pretty solid as well. It's just like it's not just like hey it's look it up, man. yeah, you know what I mean. Genuine. It ain't just like hey look at us like yeah like we already better than y'all niggas, but we don't yeah. gotta show everything else. Yeah. Yeah. I respect yeah. it though. Yeah. But uh, now nah, that's crazy. I was that thinking, nah, you should bolster nothing for real. Not at all. That should be from the heart, and that's yeah. how it is. But you got these dumbasses that just can't wait. Yeah. Be like, you could tell it's not organic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like unless you're posting it up to just you know bring in some, you know, clients and letting it be known out there. But when I did my research on y'all, I didn't see none of that. Yeah, it was pretty solid though. So y'all got any other type of ideas or ways that y'all want to um, expand the shop? Yeah, for yes. sure. If y'all can't speak on any, we're or just we opening up Lux Two here soon, bro. Lux Two coming soon. All beauticians, uh -huh. all beauticians, all beauticians. It's coming soon. Scenic location. It's coming uh, soon. Coming soon. Sound like very it's motherfucking soon. soon. Give us Real about. Soon. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to put a date on it, but give us about a year. But it's in the works. Give us about a year. We are gonna have Lux Two opened up. All beauticians. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Them they're identical to looks looks now. You know, clean environment, vibe. Some vibrant colors. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, very. Uh, Man, um, so this is a question just like as a regular human don't cut hair. Um, do y'all I think I asked you too with the walk ins thing, but man, what's better for businesses for people who are trying to start up a shop like is the app booking better? 
or is this like the walk-ins? Like what? What? At, at, I can go both ways though. Yeah, cause so, I ain't gonna, gonna lie. Taxi. A walk in, <laughs> not even a walk in, because a walk in, I'm like, if I ain't busy, then that's clutch, because it's like I ain't busy and I can always make an extra Wait, dollar if you want to walk in. And like day you can, like if you, you call me, like can I get in real quick and you ain't got no appointment, you can took up top and I, you know what I'm saying? I can't. Like it's Easter weekend, like, somebody try that tomorrow. Oh. It's over. Yeah, yeah nah. It's over. What? What's tomorrow? Friday? Oh. <laughs> so y'all just, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, in the morning of Easter. Yeah. That's it. If you got time for a church, uh-huh. um, man, I my, my nigga want me to ask this shit, man, and I I really didn't, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of him. <laughs> he be so upset. <laughs> Obviously, the prices of getting haircuts now. <laughs> It's getting there Respectfully though Yeah Cause I mean Inflation comes I wanna speak, on this. I wanna this speak on this No what's up I mean nah But it's like That's how I look at my business too Like nigga When it, when I see egg, Eggs go up mm-hmm. Gas go up Services going up As well though So Shit What, what was like So, so like, <laughs> Talk about it So like For real for real My thing is As a barber why do why do I gotta take the back seat, you know, to life if I'm providing you a service? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I run my own business. I don't so I go to car I go I go get my car fixed, you know, a lot. Yeah. I got BMW, so I go get my car fixed a lot. When I go to different spots, you know, some car spots that do it cheaper. Mm-hmm. You know, some dealership saying, taking you there, and a dealership is gonna take you up top every time. It's true, but when you take your car to the dealership, you ain't got no worries about when it come back to you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you take your car to a, a muffler brothers, or I mean, not to put nobody business out there, but you know what I'm Straight saying. Try with shit. You take yeah, <laughs> yeah, you take your car to somewhere. You know what I'm saying. That ain't that ain't as credible. You know yeah. what I'm saying. You don't know. You might come back and have a whole different problem. Mm-hmm. So it's the same thing, kind of same thing with the barber game. Like it is a little expensive, but you know what I'm saying. It's exclusive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not for everybody. Y'all assets. Yeah, you know? it's yeah. not. It's not for everybody. So everybody, like we talk about the shop being an experience. You know what I'm saying. More than just a, a atmosphere. You know what I'm saying. It's an experience. Like you, you come there, the you come there, you gonna get a good conversation. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. You come in there, you gonna feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying. So it's like. <laughs> like the experience that we selling and the skill that come behind the experience. So it's like we feel like you get a good deal. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Come to us because you go to Cincinnati or you say, go to go forty five minutes up the yeah. road. <laughs> you it's, go it's, see. it's gonna cost you more than what no. we're gonna charge you. You know what and I'm it's saying? Like so it's too like like come on, bro. If I'm charging ten dollars a head. Okay, that's a little crazy. Right, but if I'm <laughs> 25. Let's do that, 25. That's what niggas is like We're gonna used 25 to. 25 ahead, right? Yeah. It take 30 minutes for me to make, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, 30 minutes for me to cut ahead. That's 25. I don't let you want the spray either. Don't you want the spray and all that. Mind you, my clippers cost 300. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it come down to the stuff that's costing, like, the I got to, to do the service on you, I got to have the materials. The materials going up. Mm-hmm. Shit, these clipper prices going up. Just like you think there's eggs and all this extra yeah. shit going up. The, you know what I'm saying? The, right. All that's going up. So it's yeah. like, you feel me? When it come down to it, it's like, all right, I got to keep up with the up and up. The the type of haircut niggas want is going, it's different. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the gigi, you can probably get you a, a, a what, a Caesar and a lineup. Yeah. Now nah, that's all it was. Cool. Yeah. You know like, it was cool. simple. Hey, it it was going in there. Let me get the 13. Yup. <laughs> yeah, let me get the 13. <laughs> uh, like, get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that and, wasn't and for me. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? 10, 15 minutes. You feel me? So nowadays, you coming in there, you getting the hot towel service. You coming in there, you getting the razor. You getting actually, yeah. you actually getting crispy. Like, you about to go get some hoes after that. Like, you going to go get some. You about to go have a good time. You can go to the club. You can go. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like, even if you ain't got shit to do, you're going to feel good after. You're going to feel yeah, good. Yeah. And that's really what it's about. And at the same time, we trying to live life too. Shit. We trying to, shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> nah. I, I, she I, trying to be left in them. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? In the nah, I, I can attest to that though because like, I, I wanted y'all to explain it because like when I be having to explain like, like mm-hmm. music videos or films mm-hmm. and shit like that, I'm coming on the scene like, 10, 12,000 worth of equipment sometimes if I need to. The yeah. investments of, like you said, shit, lenses going up, cameras going up. You got to oh, get the latest camera to keep up with this shit. So it, I, 
it, How much it's you charge. We'll talk about it because okay. <laughs> it, it varies. Star rap. A lot of <laughs> things people don't understand either is like we run a business, we pay taxes, and we don't get taxes back. So you know what I'm saying? There's no handout in business. Mm-hmm. It's all on you. Ain't no six bands coming yeah. on February. Nah. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no looking forward to February. <laughs> right. bro. Yeah, yeah. So, no claiming kids and yeah, shit like they that. Gotta, yeah. So people gotta understand that too. Like, like what y'all give us, that ain't all going to our pocket. Like, we still gotta buy supplies, and then after we go buy supplies, we gotta eat. Then after we eat, we gotta worry about paying taxes on what we made. So if I made two hundred, I probably made. One one thirty five, right? You know what I'm saying? Because that other percentage got to go to taxes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then I got still got to put gas in my car. You know, and that's all the regular life living, human shit. Yeah, like you got to live still, like you know, good still, while goes. worrying about paying taxes and everything. So you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's not it's not just uh, you go cut hair and everything profit. Like no, it's 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 deeper than that. Yeah, this might be a. Rhetorical question, but is it ever a thought of like, like y'all kind of just miss the the non so much business aspect of just cutting? Obviously, it's a yes. passion and the love of it, but yes. all the other shit that come in with running the business, mixing it with your passion, like do y'all miss that part of it sometimes? Absolutely, some, I ain't gonna lie. It be some days I get a little whiff, like damn, I really love this shit, but. You know, you get your days where you be sick of this shit too. So, Trust me, I know. But ain't nothing better than like just working for yourself. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was gonna say too. It's a quote. Uh, I'm on my chance shit, but nah, <laughs> it's a quote. Uh, I forgot the artist. I think it was like not Van Gogh, but basically it was just like some famous artist. Somebody walked up to him and was like, "Hey, can you draw me a picture on the napkin?" Drew the picture on the napkin. It's like how much? Nigga said like ten thousand. It's like why why are you charging me ten thousand to draw this picture? Uh-huh. And it took you five minutes. And it was just like you're not paying for how quick I did it. You're paying for the experience that I got yeah. putting into this shit. Uh-huh. So I always think of that quote is just like, man, I don't give a fuck what I tell a motherfucker yeah, at, at this point. It's real shit. Because it's just like I don't care if I run a gun, take an hour. Uh-huh. They charged me fourteen thousand dollars in Marvel College. Whew. You know what I'm saying? I for, yeah. damn, I for, I mean, yeah, I forgot shit. about barber college like yeah. the just shit you got to do with that. They they require police officers and trust me, I know. I just asked the cop. They just told me they get 800 hours to uh and police academy for Yeah, police there. academy yeah. is going to be a police hour. officer. They made me do 18 motherfucking hours. 1800. 1800, right? 1800. Yeah. My fault. 1800. And you in barber college you can't get paid, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, was, yeah. Two, three dollars. I mean, I was getting money in there, but it was like, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. you getting paid, it was held to a minimum for yeah. But but walk-ins. but to actually get that certificate of being able to be a certified barber, you ha- have to do eighteen hundred hours. Have to do it. Well, in Ohio, okay, yeah. In, uh, in Georgia, that shit, yeah, you, you can like just pop in the shop. <laughs> yeah, you can do apprenticeship and um. Uh, like a six hundred hours of apprenticeship, and you could probably get your license. But with stuff like that, like if they was trying to come to Ohio and try to cut there, I have to finish yeah. out the rest of the hours yeah. and all that. So, so but you mentioned in Georgia, um, a lot of people, just who I've been around, they always felt like they needed to leave or wanted to leave at a certain point. Y'all, y'all ever have any future plans of like, maybe like? All right, we got established here. Somebody running it, and maybe going somewhere else, or just, just kind of just being just owners of like, all right, shit. Uh huh. Definitely. <laughs> like definitely moving, or just definitely like, like that. having moving. Yeah. Shit outside of dating. You yeah. Know, we we trying to expand for sure. Yeah, cause yeah, we trying to have a life to where like somebody over here, somebody over here, somebody over here. You know what I'm saying, Sam, on the bigger scale of things, like say he in Cali. Right here in Miami, but still just I'm pushing the Lux, the Lux brand. The Lux yeah. brand, not great clips he is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's the like the the bigger stuff. Yeah, they to it all. man, they so they right next to fucking they Chipotle's and yeah, so, yeah. They, yeah. you know what I mean. You know what the tax so, service, uh, like my fucking H and R block. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's actually a great great analogy that you put it like you know that though. Like, but that's really the bigger scheme here. 
Or we could just say he take over the Miami branch, he take over the Cali branch. Mm-hmm. It, it, and that and it, it, it's crazy. I keep thinking about when you said like y'all made being barbers cool. Speaking this conversation, I I, I get it more now because like like. I guess until I really heard of y'all, like when I do get my haircuts, I get haircuts like once a month because my shit just grow weird. But um, yeah, it's a lot of just people who still are in their ways of like certain people. This is other barbers too that be revamping their shit, mm-hmm. but they stuck in their ways of like how it was years ago. Which yeah. sometimes you don't want to switch something up because the comfortability of how it's been there. But y'all shop to me. Is very it, like you said, it's modern, but at the same time, it's just I don't remember the last time you know young motherfuckers been on the, not motherfuckers, but you remember young has been on the scene that just kind of revamped what was what the city was used to. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's other shops too that got some dope shit going on. Yeah, for sure. But it's the way that y'all structured y'all y'all's and mm-hmm. and you know what I mean, like okay, y'all y'all client base and everything. It just kind of was just like oh, like this shit is like something fresh in the city. Yeah. I think I dropped off my lady's uh that. my uh her nephew or something over there and he was like yeah I'm, uh, I gotta go to Lux and he was like sixteen so to me that's just his experience like he ain't going nowhere like he ain't going nowhere he gonna keep coming to Lux because it's just like the nigga loved it like the nigga was like putting on his Sunday best like yeah. shit. <laughs> the nigga came in that motherfucker though man oh um, man. I, ain't, I like I'll be putting on my Sunday best sometime I go to the shop. Yeah. Like, I mean I, like, I know it's gonna be a good day today. Everybody's gonna be in here. It's it's a Friday. Yeah. Like tomorrow I'll bet I'll be fresh. <laughs> bro, I can't I can't go nowhere not unfresh. Even if it's the simplest <laughs> shit, bro. Like I gotta yeah. have some type of freshness yeah. going on. Like it's, it's just a persona. Mm-hmm. Um I was about to ask you too. Yeah, another thing too, bro. Y'all be tripping like y'all be coming in there fresh, hair getting all shoes and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I be, I be shit, like, damn niggas, brother. is like, I ain't gonna lie, like, like damn the new ones, it's we, we ain't tight nigga <laughs> shit. We just bought some more, man. We don't even be tripping about it, I, girl. You know that phrase yeah. I be saying, I buy he, shoes everybody want, so I can mess them up. Yeah, he he the king of that. He fuck some shoes up quick. Hey, I remember I uh some Jordans I had, I put a picture up and I was kneeled down. Like they, it was creasing. They was like, "You just gonna do the J's like that?" I'm like, "I per- they supposed to be warm, my exactly, nigga." Man. Like, like I ain't just praising kicks. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, just, man, I might go hooping these, and I can't even hit a jump yeah, shot. I just bought, I bought some Air Force Ones, and we had practice that same day. <laughs> hooping them. <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> one, I could. Hey, that, right, that's were. diabolical. We hooping in one. <laughs> He's sick. He's crazy. He's sick. He's sick. Diabolical, man. He might as well put a shiesty mask on. Man. <laughs> right, yo. Said, fuck it. Hey, he ain't care that man. Oh, I did not care, man. Oh, shit. Man, um, man, last question before we go, man. Um, I asked everybody this. We can start with you, Ant, man. What's a good quote or a piece of advice that you live off of? Uh, no, it's a, it's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting everybody with that question, man. Shit, I'll probably say you your own enemy. Like you can't can't nobody else knock you down. You at the end of the day, if you fall that's on you. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. So Very simply. What about you, G? Um Damn, that was fast. I thought you was gonna go to him. I'm eating <laughs> shit either or. I'm doing. I'm just going in order. Uh, for real, I mean, um, I don't know, man. I really don't. I really don't got like a quote. You know what I'm saying? But it's something though. Like I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Steve Harvey said something a minute ago. I can't even really quote it out of way. But it just stuck with me. You know, just like his what, words. Jump out the cliff, Bill. He's on the way down. Nah, he said something like. Uh, he said it's something about because you know I'm big on not being lazy, so you know what I'm saying. He said something like, "Uh, well, how did it go?" He said like, "Uh, he said when you hustling, you can't sleep for eight hours." Ah, uh, he yeah. was like, he was like, "Uh, by the end of the week, I forgot how many hours it was added up." But he like, that's like. That's like twenty five percent of your life wasted. You know what I'm saying? So he like he like when you grinding, you don't sleep eight hours a night. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that kind of stuck with me. You know, just the 
just to remind me, like, you know, don't get too comfortable, you know what I'm saying, when you, you know what I'm saying, it'd be times that I can't sleep at night, you know what I'm saying, just thinking about that, like, damn, I could be doing something productive, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying, that's something that, that just, that just stick with me, that I, that I think about every day on the, on the, man, let me just remember this. Yeah, man, that's why I don't play video games. This yeah. motherfucker is my age streaming and doing shit. I'm like, bro, I don't got time for that. I don't I, got time for it. I try to play one game. I'm like, bro, I, I could be studying a video, the next edit, you know what I mean? So that's that, that's true. What, what, what's your quote? You know, just have faith in God. I don't think you, I don't think you got to figure it out. Oh, sure. Figure it out. There it is. Yes, for real. I just have faith in God. Like you gotta have got it. you. Yeah. Uh like, I do want to say this. I just want to acknowledge this too. Like I said, just respecting y'all, y'all professions at y'all age. Uh, when we did the uh, Black Excellence Gala, mm -hmm. it was just a a few youngins there mm -hmm. that was that y'all. I'm like, you know, it was other people that G and everybody knew and, mm -hmm. knew and everything like that. But I'll be looking at the landscape because you got to see when, when things is moving and changing. And I was just like, yeah, like y'all were some of the youngest in there being praised of like y'all professionalism and like entrepreneurship. That ain't the word that I don't let up. Like when you're an entrepreneur, you, know, you entrepreneur that you choose to become that motherfucker. You yeah, feel me? Y'all sure. niggas stuck through with that shit. So yeah. I thought that was pretty dope. I just wanted to acknowledge that too. For, uh, that, yeah, Appreciate for sure. Like, man, I, I, you, you mean you get you credit when it's due. You was in there fly, man. All right, yeah, you know, you man. Know? Yeah, I was in there, <laughs> yeah, man. I, I pop yeah, out with a blazer right now oh, and then, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, because you know, it's funny. I didn't even know. I was, uh, I met up with G like a day before. We was talking about it. And he just like, yeah, Peso, you getting an award too. I'm like, <laughs> all right, like, I, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm counting like, man, how many people you gonna give an award to? I ain't say nothing, but he just threw it out there. So that was just, like I said, small victory. Like you know, what I mean, I ain't you never got presented. It, man, you the biggest anything. in the city. I appreciate that, bro. You the biggest in the city, with yo, and, man. This lineup I got with these pods. Like I, I just had Tay Winston here. I had my nigga Vita on Napoleon. Yeah. yeah, so I had my nigga Ash, Ma Ash Matthews. He a crazy engineer. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I'm trying to scale up, man. Like yeah. you know, I didn't did my due diligence of trying to get the artists and everything that I my history working with. But now I want people to see. All right. You know, we got entrepreneurs here that's really thriving. That's really, like, mm -hmm. you know, changing the landscape. Yeah, so yeah. I just want to tell y'all that, document it on camera. Like, yeah, I, I respect y'all. Sure. Where for y'all? Y'all might, y'all might be seeing me here too, getting yeah, cut. I don't give a sure, fuck. Yeah. I hear him because he he been my point of contact. But it's just like, nigga, I got, like, I'm, I'm searching for a new barber. I don't care if you watch this either. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, man, I thank y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Before we go though, can I say something, man? Go for it. Listen, man. Like my nigga Quan said, man, we made this barber shit cool. You know, sure. man, we receive now all the good out of all the good stuff, man. We receive a lot of uh, hate, man. Slander and come you with know what it. I'm saying slander. So I just wanna wow. just, you know, just put that out there. You know what I'm saying? We the biggest, man. And we know, ain't letting up either. Best barbershop, you know what I'm saying? I had the pleasure to win Best Barber Award, you know what I'm saying? But we got we got accolades, we got we got whatever we need, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to battle nobody. <laughs> we don't have to battle nobody You know what I'm saying We don't get into that Yeah You know yeah. what I'm saying I just wanted to put that out there man, Cause you know what I'm saying We don't say nothing You know what I'm saying It'll come to us And we just brush it off Yeah, yeah I mean You, you know don't gotta saying? say nothing yeah, I mean all that yeah. show Within the work But hey, on, on, the, on the platform On your platform yeah. <laughs> I gotta say oh, Pop yeah, that yeah. shit yeah. On, yeah. on your platform You know I just wanna I just wanna go on a record For saying man We the biggest man And it's, and it's just the beginning you know what I'm saying? I, I just I feel sorry for if you're not with us. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it's nothing. It's nothing you could do. <laughs> and one more thing. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's, it's nothing you could do. I mean, oh, you, need with us. you gotta be with us. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. and it's not towards no barbers. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is, is. Just towards his haters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Period. You know what I'm saying? If we he not, wasn't a part, at least you got the witness. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Just, nah, but yeah, like yeah, we'd be being humble, but like. Shout out CL Peso. We on our Cat Williams shit, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all can't. Hey. You like the third one? <laughs> to say that. Like, hey, hey. Oh, so we're going to go Cat Williams on the pod. Say, hey. Y'all let y'all know, man. We, you know what I'm saying? We turn. We, you know what I'm saying? You know, chains on, picky rings on, <laughs> phone cars and all that cool stuff, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. You talking about I was fly. <laughs> Bossed up. I, was that you in the camera on the recap? 
Young fly nigga, I love it though. I'm like, hell yeah. Popping that shit. Shout out Big G, yeah. Put us on spotlight. Shout out Big G. You know, we having our way. See, ain't got the cardio on right now. He acting bad. Yeah. They're good, man. You know what I'm saying? We mess with y'all barbers, but you know what I'm saying? If it's a competition, it's competition, man. We got our foot on y'all necks. And it ain't friendly, nigga. It ain't friendly at all. No cat. Nah, you gotta own that shit, man. Yeah. Dreamers Welcome Podcast, man. Y'all keep dreaming. Shit still in rotation. We out. Dreamers Welcome Podcast.